It is an extraordinary morning for SpongeBob. He wakes up even more excited than usual. For today is the day Mr. Krabs announces his appointment for manager of the Krusty Krab 2. And, and SpongeBob knows in his house that he is the sponge for the job. There is an added spring in his step, and the world is a brighter place. He needs to get ready for work, and then it's off to the Krusty Krab. Destiny awaits. Meanwhile, Plankton lurks in the chum bucket, cooking up another evil plan to take over Bikini Bottom. He is a jealous and egotistical creature. His height may be measured in millimeters, but his vanity spans leagues. Hey, watch it! I can hear you, you know! Oh, a thousand pounds. What I meant to say was, help Plankton find and carry out a plan that will make all of Bikini Bottom tremble at his awesome power. You know, I'm kind of starting to like you. So Plankton steals Neptune's crown, sending Neptune into a rage that pervades the entire ocean. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the Krusty Krab, things have not gone well for SpongeBob. <laughs> it seems Monsieur Krabs has seen fit to make Squidward manager instead of him. You see, Mr. Krabs thinks SpongeBob is still just a kid. But SpongeBob, being a creature of great fortitude, takes the news extremely well. <gasps> After an embarrassing evening at Goofy <clears throat> Goodell, SpongeBob returns <clears throat> to the Krusty Krab the next morning only to find King Neptune has frozen Monsieur Krabs. He believes that Mr. Krabs has stolen his crown what? and will fry him to a crisp if the crown is not returned in five days. Neptune's daughter, Mindy, tries to change his mind, but Neptune is as stubborn as he is mighty. SpongeBob, in a fit of heroics, vows to save Mr. Krabs and show everyone once and for all that he is a man, not a kid. So help him retrieve the crown. It is in Shell City, a mystical place far, far away. Find some means of transportation and get going. Okay. Nothing can stop us now, Patrick. Feel the wind in your hair. That's the taste of freedom in your mouth. Ooh. I thought it was a bug. Huh. Our friends have successfully obtained the Patty Mobile. This should make their journey to Shell City much easier. Sacre bleu! What is this? <laughs> Shortly after crossing the Bikini Bottom County line, our friends are stopped by a thug who demands that they give him the Patty-mobile immediately. Our friends put up a valiant fight. But alas, in the end, they are no match for the vile ruffian. So, it would seem they are back to square one. So, having reclaimed the Patty-mobile as their own, Hooray! SpongeBob and Patrick are once again on their way Yay! to Shell City. Meanwhile, Neptune's daughter Mindy has been grounded. Help her get out of her father's castle so she can help our heroes. Mindy has found our heroes just as they are about to enter the dreaded Great Trench, where dark and evil things lurk. They have lost their precious Paddy Mobile once again. Mindy senses their low morale and boosts their confidence by bestowing false mustaches made of seaweed upon them. With renewed vigor, they We're plunge men. headlong into the Great Trench, Yo! confident they can handle anything it throws their way. Having conquered the trench, SpongeBob and Patrick have a swagger in their step, knowing that the worst is behind them. Unfortunately, they do not realize how true that is, for an assassin is stealthily tracking them, 
hired by Plankton to stop their meddling, he has been gaining ground on them steadily. I'll get you. Proving that no good deed goes unpunished, Dennis the Hitman catches up with SpongeBob and Patrick. Not so Just bad. when it seems well. that they will be crushed underfoot, a giant boot crushes Dennis, saving our heroes. But it is out of the frying pan and into the fire, as this mysterious benefactor of a foot turns out to be a hideous giant cyclops. The cyclops easily captures SpongeBob and Patrick, who heroically pass out immediately. When they regain consciousness, it doesn't take much to realize that they are in a load of trouble. Help them escape their most dangerous predicament yet. With an ear-piercing squeal, the call of reverberates across the coast. Seconds later, it produces the desired effect as a glimmering and golden jogs into view. He offers to give them a ride back to Bikini Bottom on his muscular back. Wahoo! Upon arriving over Bikini Bottom, shoot SpongeBob and Patrick down to the seafloor using his massive chest muscles. It doesn't take long for them to realize that Plankton has been up to no good where they were gone. Everyone in Bikini Bottom appears to be under his control, including King Neptune himself. SpongeBob and Patrick must find a way to break Plankton's hold over the citizens Fucking by hell, any means everyone. necessary. <laughs> and so, SpongeBob uses the power of rock and roll to overcome evil. It is a pale as old as time. King Neptune, freed from his bucket, receives the crown with gratitude and releases Mr. Krabs from his prison of ice. Plankton is removed from circulation and placed in a suitable institution. Patrick is finally interviewed by Felch Perkins. Mindy earns the respect of her father, who will never again dismiss her counsel of wisdom and compassion. Although he is fairly insistent that someone rot in the dungeon for a thousand eternities. And SpongeBob? The kid? The ring nut? The knucklehead McSpazitron? Well, that's manager McSpazitron to you. The end.